on Celestia Ovation. A former Celestian, Reverend Lagun Adesoya, talked to us on his background, upbringing, early Christian life, and his entry into the Celestian Church of Christ. <laughs> Reverend Adesoya is a Christian in Celestia Church of Christ and born at Ijebode. And from there, I schooled at our lawyer church from the primary school. And later, went to the secondary school at Ijebode. Went to England. Came back and started to work on my own. I joined Celestia Church of Christ through a friend. You know, that my friend is deceased now. And that was in 1973. I was attending Kelvin before. I just saw my friend one day coming from the church and saw me in the church I was and said, please come and join us service. I went with him to Makoko and that's how it started. Reverend Lagun Adesoya, who is the chairman, shepherd council of Nigerian Diocese, spoke on his encounter with late founder of the church, late Reverend SBJ Oshofa. SBJ Oshofa is a very straightforward and spiritually endured man. My boy Shofa loves everybody and um, if you have st stayed the way he left this church, it would have been better for the church. The church would not have been growing in, uh, what shall I say it, I don't think, you know, the Bible said that are the weeds. And the shaft, Abby. So I pray that God is going to resettle the church Himself because He said I will build my church, but it's not by power of flesh. That's what we see in Celestia now. Speaking on the power of God manifesting in Celestia, Reverend Lagun said, "Lack of spiritual worship." has drawn the church backward. So many things I can testify concerning the power of God manifesting in Celestia Church of God. You see, uh, before God will manifest, you must be doer of what God says. If you don't do what God says, it means you just do vain worship not from the heart the heart is where the Lord wants to stay and uh, once your heart is full of different kinds of things opinions different kinds of things God will not be there and that is the thing that is troubling Celestia Church of Christ because Celestia Church of Christ is a spiritual church at least we know of so many people are, that are they were stood up from Celestia Church of Christ. I know of Deeper Life. I know of uh, Trem. I know of um, so many churches sprang out of Celestia Church of Christ. And that's what God means by the church who cleanse the world. Speaking on effort made by the Nigerian Diocese in unifying the church, Reverend Lagun explained the steps taken so far and how it all started. Yes, uh, concerning this uh, division that is in the church. At the time, because of the ruling of the Supreme Court, 
that the church cannot produce a pastor. Because the, you are meant the, old, uh, the, the new with the old. And the old says, any new constitution shall be approved by the pastor founder. And there's no pastor founder, it's dead. So there's no way that you can have a pastor. And it was recommended to us that what you would do is to go and make a new constitution. There you state how you appoint a pastor. There were two before. Mapurikon and Ogoni were one before. Because of what we see. You see, this is not the attitude of a pastor. The function now were broken into three. And then we said, I have been in court since 2001, January 10, 2001. I went to high court. I said, let's see, I should give account of all the money they have collected. I sued from Bada, everyone, that they should give account of all the money they have collected. And then the case was going on until I just said we replaced him. When they died, we replaced their name. And at a time, one of the trustees, Reverend uh, Banjo, he was the trustee that took to the court. Now said to me, let us see if we can settle this matter out of court. And we took permission from the court. You go and see to settlement. We then decided that every functional pastor should nominate nine people. Seven men, two women, making nine times three, 27. And six people were appointed as the moderator. And then we decided that each function should contribute 200,000 Naira. And whoever wants to support can make donations. We all agreed. Get to contribute 200,000. Not for 200,000. Robo need 200,000. And they started to sit in Mapuku. We all agree on Mapuku is the headquarter of Nigeria. When we sat in Mapuku, they sat in Mapuku, we nominated nine. First of all, the letter was signed by Banjo. I said, no, you can't sign the letter. You are not the factional pastor. Give it to your factional pastor to sign. He and Oshin signed. And then the functional pastor now signed and nominated nine people. Then we nominated nine people. I'm for nine people. And there are six that are non partisan they don't belong to any faction. To see that they mediate in the process. And those people now making 33. When the money had been contributed, they started to sit. From K2, this uh, General Palaya was appointed the chairman of that committee to form the constitution. And the next person appointed was from Oroboni. That is Aishida. And from Maforikom, he nominated 
et comme noir et non mais c'est dit en dehors ça à bien l'offre à la et conclure that before the church can stand first of all Nigerian dowsies must stand you have wasi dowsies they don't allow it in England that you say Nigeria no you must register the church so wasi dowsies uh, UK dowsies uh, American dowsies so Nigeria now doesn't have dowsies on head they agree that to start with the diocesan head must be appointed for Nigeria. And there they said it must be a university graduate. There must be a man with one wife. It must be between fifty and not more than 70 and then when they want to appoint the head of Nigerian diocese all that are interested they level to superior evangelists you can apply but during the process of prayer and picking vote that's the way they agreed that God can appoint. So they start to reduce the numbers until they are able to appoint one person as head of Nigeria Dallas. They recommended that when it now comes to the pastor, it depends on the population of every diocese. Nigerian Dowsey has about 5,000 parishes now. You can't put it on the same level with a Dowsey that have about 100. So what was agreed is that proportionally delegate will come according to the number of parishes. And from there they will now go whoever wants to be pastor they will submit nomination from every diocese. And all delegates from diocese, according to number of branches you have, will come. Either by vote or by ballot. Until it reduced to one person to be the pastor. And that was what they agreed upon. Now the case went to the three factions presented what they agreed upon. They were able to calculate what income the church will have in a year and what salary to be given to everyone. And there are what's supposed to be in reserve for the church. No money people steal. So the agreement was that they should present the report at every faction. When they present the report at every faction, if the faction has to put more input, they should write it up. Whether they want certain things to be taken out or to be added, they write that supplementary. When they presented in three doses at the three functions, that now if you have anything to add or structure from what you have seen now, write it out. They will go and sit again and put another input into what has been agreed before. So that the court said when we find when you have a new constitution and it's registered, so what we are supposed to do is to do uh, to amend all those things and come with a constitution which shall be taken to court and it will be a judgment settlement. So there will be no trouble then 
Or people because of monopoly. God does not work in a majority. God does not use so many people to fight a war. God wants people that are active. Not people that are natural, but uh, they are working for God. They are spiritually minded people. And since that one could not come up, those that have majority say they have majority. And because we have majority, we stay on our majority, it pays them. They don't care about the work of God. But one minus hundred, Jesus looked for a lost sheep. Left 99. And they don't have 99. And that is selfishness. That's what you see in celestial flesh does not come under the guidance of God at all. It is what they will profit them now they are thinking of. They are not thinking about the future of this church. I have been to Oshawa's house in 2005, February 5. I went there with Femi Koka. And when the three trustees were still alive there, Oshawa's son was part of the city. Tesho was part of the city. There's one or two by now, part of the city. Oshin was part of the city. And then I went to them, I said, look, you are, you are a child of a chauffeur. If other people don't want the progress of the church, don't let the work your father did. Don't let it sink. I said your father was taking idiots for granted. People with your father. You don't believe in the work. But you have a handicap. And they came to invite you. Because you know you have a problem. You now agree to be getting free money. And they agree to use you. So then why don't you work for the progress of the church of you? Your father started. They came to invite you. You and your father were not in good terms. You were working in Paris as a civil servant. Until the same problem your father has, the eye, correction of the eye. Your father did his operation in Yondo. And you went to the hospital to do your own operation. And that turned you into not being able to see again. Then like, why don't you if they want to use you, agree with them and see that this church stands. I said, we don't know about his father. I said, we know about your father because your father don't call you sons. Your father call us sons. He call all of you Aburu. So I said, if you are used to your father, you know the type of person your father is. You will not want this church to disintegrate. And then they said, yeah, okay, what do you want to do now? They said, it is Ijebu that spoiled the church. And you are Ijebu also now. Man, you are Ijebu. You are Ijebu, go and uh, make the church. I know they were deceiving themselves. They, they just wanted to end the thing. When we are going to do the burial of your father, we saw you, brother, dress. I said, no, it's leader. I said, not leader. These people sitting down, they know about you. We saw you, a brother, Sutana. You are not part of the church. The only one of you that is part of the church closely with his father is Edith. And later Ebenezer was brought in by Joseph. So 
I said uh, it's better for you to work for the unity of this church than what you are trying to do now. It doesn't pay you. So we're all left. And they have been making effort to see that this church does not come into unity because of all that they profit from it. It's all left with God. So the concern we say we are going to do, they held on it, they didn't return it back up to today. They said we are a majority. One with God is a majority. Not one with flesh. Speaking on the recommendation of the Unification Committee, most superior evangelist Tunde Adideji noted that the two other factions are not interested in the unification of the church. Uh, one thing is that there is no area we can meet to discuss further on what we've done on the recommendation of the Unification Committee. We submitted three copies to three functions. They were all pleased with the reports, which was added by General Opaleye, Ekundai Opaleye. And we thought that doing that, they should go through the recommendation and make any amendments, if there are, to bring out a blue copy, a blueprint or whatever we proposed for the Celestial Church. If we did it for Nigerian houses, then worldwide. Particular. So, but at the end of the day, it was only on our side that we sent back the, the our own recommendation and it has to be altered. The other two factions, up to today, they didn't do it. So, there is no way of doing that and solve our problems. But up to now, we have not been able to solve that problem. So, these are the things that is painful, that time is not on our side. Reverend Lagu and the head of administration of the Nigerian Diocese, Superior Evangelist Oyeguki, reviewed the welfare packages they provide for shepherds and the church workers. We provide uh, insurance for every worker. And the insurance scheme is for both when you are sick. When you have accident, not full. Uh, when you are not fully out of work, and when it results into death, cadillacs will run. Depends on what you pay. Every church that pays not less than five thousand naira in a month, you categorize them. Well, you will be ashamed that some people will say they bring 100 naira. There's no truth. Does it mean you feed with 100 naira in a month? So, some will say 500 naira in a month. Those categories will put them category B. So that's what we do and then when they have problem, they make the doses, we help them. When parishes have problem and they are regular contributor, they bring their problem, we solve it together, we are supposed to have an input. We do some input. So the money that comes in, we pay the pastor monthly salary and allowance. And we have done that since JC. JC died 2003. And it's still on up to today. Buy vehicle for pastor. We maintain the vehicle. If he has a, a pastor that has his own house, we help give him housing allowance because he's using his own house. Those are the things we do for the churches that are on the house. 
an individual also will help them. They have problem. The money does not belong to us. The money belongs to the church. And when people are suffering, and some people are just taking the money. If we have debt, God forbid, if our shepherd dies, if his remitting is a, a return constantly, below 10,000 and 10,000 above, we give the family 200,000 insurance. If it's remitting between 10,000, 20, 30, we give back to the family 500,000. And Cornerstone is a, a, a witness. They are insurer, insurer. You could investigate from them. They will tell you. And not only that, we care for the burial. If a shepherd dies, we pay for the clothing, we pay for the coven, and we pay for the um, musical aspect of it. But the cooking, you know, is very big. We give that to the family.